Uh, Professor Kuma R, we now have the first caller, and she's a student, Shreya uh, from Delhi. Shreya, go ahead. What's your question? Uh, good afternoon. So I'm a science student in class 12 right now, and a lot of us have the same dilemma that uh, we'd like to switch into a arts course, say psychology or English. But while um, earlier we were able to do so through our board school, now we are questioning that whether we can give a CUT for both science as well as arts, and will it make it a difference? Yes. Uh, uh, Shreya, this is a very good uh, question. Uh, you see, we are permitting the students to write uh, up to six domain subjects. If you are a science student, you wish to switch over, uh, you can write uh, tests in other areas too. And then uh, look at the university website, what are their uh, eligibility criteria for getting admission in a UG program. And accordingly, you choose your domain subject and you write it. And you see in all the universities across the country, as part of the NEP implementation, we are also encouraging multidisciplinary education. And it's very, very important. In fact, I'm very glad to know that you are a science student, but you want to do psychology or you want to do arts or journalism. This kind of multidisciplinary education is uh, very much essential. And I'm sure most of the all the universities will encourage uh, this switching from one area to the other area. We certainly hope the universities to give that kind of positive response, uh, Professor Kumar. Another student from Delhi, Shayan. Shayan, go ahead. Ask your question. Sure. Uh, so I had a question which was regarding, first of all, a very good afternoon to everyone present there. Um, I am a student of 12th grade, of course, and my question was, that while we are somewhat aware, it's not that CUCET is happening for the first time. It, of course, Delhi has subscribed to CUCET for the first time. But my question was that we are aware of the section A of the paper, right? But as far as section B is concerned, and as Sir said, you know, there will be a domain specific uh, test that will take place. Now, I personally want to take up political science and history and maybe psychology. So, how should I go about really preparing uh, right. for CUCT? And should I only prepare keeping CUCT in mind right now, or should I prepare keeping board exam and CUCT in mind? Okay. I would suggest that uh, you focus on your board exams and try to be a good learner. And we will announce the syllabus, which is based on the NCRT syllabus, syllabus uh, 12th standard syllabus, and the questions will be mirrored based on uh, this uh, syllabus. So focus on your uh, uh, 11th and 12th standard uh, uh, you know, studies so that you become good learner and participating in CUET should become uh, that much easier to you. But let me also add here that since you do not have enough information on uh, how these exams are going to be conducted, let me very briefly tell you, uh, we are going to conduct this in two stages. Uh, in stage one, you will have one language paper. You can pick up one out of the 13 languages where your comprehension and other abilities will be tested. And on the, on the, in, in the first stage, you can also select two domain subjects. And there are some universities which offer the UG admission based on a general test. So in the first stage, you will also have the option to write one general test and apply to various universities which use this score to give the admission in the UG programs. And in the second stage, you can write up to four domain subjects. And then uh, suppose you want to take admission in BA uh, in uh, some uh, international languages, such as German or French or Spanish. So we will be conducting a test in these languages also. So in the first, on the, in the first stage, one language, two domain, and one general test. And in the second stage, you can write four domain subjects and then one language uh, subject. <laughs> so you will have enough uh, flexibility here to choose your subjects. We are going to conduct uh, the examination in 27 domain subjects. So there is a lot of option available to you in this. Yes, Professor Kumar, um, anyone who has passed class 12th exams is eligible to take this common entrance test. However, class 12th marks may be used by universities to set admission criteria. Please explain this. And don't you feel that this is already in place as, men, as most of the top colleges already have some sort of entrance exam and a minimum threshold marks to attend or to take those entrance? 
um, as far as I know, in, in, in many colleges, for example, in Delhi, the admissions are based on the 12th standard marks. And that is what is causing a lot of stress among the parents and the students. So let me explain uh, the meaning of setting certain cutoff in the uh, 12th standard marks for admission in the universities through CUET. Um, the final admission of the student will be based on the score that the student gets in the CUET. But however, to be able to apply to a university, the university can set its own individual uh, uh, marks in the plus two, let's say maybe 60%, maybe 65%. And once the students have this minimum standard set by the university, they can then use the CUET score uh, to get admission in the UG program.